What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play is the United States of America. That in this episode, our forces have landed at the port in Sardinia. We're going to destroy the first British stack we come across, which is actually quite a depleted uh, foreign recruited army commanded by Marcus Anthil. So let's take them out and then yeah, we might we may keep um Actually, no, we don't need to keep this as, as a military dockyard. Eventually, once we capture the island, we can keep it as a trade port. We've got plenty of military recruitment capacity um, in the Western Atlantic for the time being. Eastern Atlantic, Western Mediterranean, I should say. Anyway, their force is has a significant militia component, which should be quite easy to deal with. Their infantry, their main infantry component is depleted quite significantly. Set up our full artillery to bombard. Set up the howitzers to provide close support. Line infantry front line, get my continental marines on the right flank. Put my light infantry on the left, back them up with melee infantry. I should put my light and my heavy cavalry together and then my regiment of horse are kind of more medium. Excellent. Then my howitzers try to focus on bombarding their infantry. So we're going to charge their gun line. Cavalry are wheeling in. If they want to conduct a spoiling attack, then they are welcome to. Careful of those stakes. Get my artillery to attack their center. There'll be a period as soon as we breach the hill that we'll be a bit exposed to their artillery. Oh no. You heard them shout canister shot. Give me artillery actually to support the far flank. Quick climb. Keep hammering the centre. Look at that unit, it's gonna be yeah, it is obliterated. There we go. Now the musket balls are starting to rip through their gun line. Skirmishers push up. My cavalry yeah, it's gonna be a bit tricky for them to get in. Try get back here. Try it, regiment of horse. Go for it. They've dipped their bayonets. Regiment of horse tried to charge our skirmishes, but got blown to pieces. Commit my marines into the fight. So you better stay in square, I suppose. One light infantry, you've got some really good, really good coverage here. Actually, you can only really shoot the militia. You target the artillery. Redirect one gun team to keep the support going here. They may break my square. Regiment of horse is going to counter charge. That's what I thought. Let me peel both my marines back. 
keep the foot artillery focusing on this flank and help them out. Mass routes in the center. Getting my skirmishes on the move. Miss their general. You kill them. Crossier, get into the center. Keep my cavalry free because I would like to try and chase some of these fellows down. Go on, take out the general. hop up onto the high ground and we'll charge into the back of the eight. Artillery is still... Oh no, we are not wheel off. The artillery has fired. You in charge then to help out. Should be able to break them. Focus on the 59th. Okay, well, focus on the line infantry. Four, four. First and foremost. Kill the 59th. I suppose actually we could get my general involved. general to chase down that unit of militia. Pretty sure it's only the general's bodyguard that's not routed yet. I know there's one unit in the centre that's come back. So let's just direct my artillery fire onto them. Just go for 57. You guys about base to engage those gun those gunners. Damn right, we're going to continue. Just go for the light infantry. A weak unit of horse artillery. We're not bothered about. Power thing because they've split up. Josiah doing a fine job here. And they're going to escape. As are they. help you deal with the 68th and let's help the general deal with his chap okay run there you go he finally abandoned his gun Interesting, because that is the guy. Yeah, they both, they've all ran to the gun. Interesting. There we go. Nice. That's a decisive victory for us. That force is effectively destroyed. 
This army can then replenish and advance out into order, the wilderness. Ready for orders. Let's see if Willard Egan comes after us. If this force tries, they're going to be in trouble. Nice. Okay. Elsewhere. Continuing our raiding games against Austria on the coast. Nope, don't do that. Could try and grab grab those ships. I wonder if Prussia would join in. No, they're allied with Austria. Ah. Uh, let, let them have some some naval strength for the time being. So then up here in the northeast, yeah, we've got one army to deal with. Let's march you into Luke Churchill. Because we destroyed the last British army they sent up here. Well, because they, they did send another fleet carrying an invasion force, but that was sank. So... Yeah, I think we're in a good position. We might have to keep one army here, just in case they keep generating armies in India to send over here. Um, but we do want to jump on the British mainland. I, I want this to stop. Put artillery engaged from the hill. You got rockets, and rockets are always good fun. Set up our Set up our, how, our howitzers, set up our line infantry. Republican Guard and our Grenadiers are going to go on the right. Group my light infantry, infantry together. Oh, I've, I've got an extra unit of foot artillery. Go. And as last as we did last time. We're gonna advance at speed. Yeah, then we have is using carcass shot against us. Oh, why is it so many the drums? I'm imagining it's because of the rain. Yeah. Human advance. Where's my buccaneers? Keep them nearby. These two units drop into squares. We're too close now for your howitzer fire. So we chased away one unit of artillery. We need to get rid of get rid of this light cavalry then we can fold in the left flank until then we're going to hold hold on the left actually we could push one unit up let's get one unit focusing on the colonial light most of our artillery to work on their mobile elements that might try and stop us. Push forward. We can start to sweep their, their artillery position with musket fire. This light cavalry is just getting shot to pieces by my light infantry. They're not going to be in the action for very long. along the road 
There you go, now they're wavering. Well, the dragoons are wavering. Excellent. Review up like so. The enemy cavalry's been defeated on the right flank. Move up the skirmishes. Make sure my buccaneers are on fire at will off. Ideas are opening up, Republican Guard are opening up. Okay, I want to move my cavalry away from the stakes. So that when we engage. The combat's less likely to move back into the stakes. Try to get my cuirassier up here to deal with their general. Form square. Although you can actually fold into the flank of the 42nd, try to free up our skirmishes a bit. More rocket fire coming in. There you go, they've pulled away from our squares, but it looks like they want to come back again. Come on, kill them for a second, break them, break them. Get out of the way. Nice. Pull the line back. Retarget my artillery. Should make all my foot artillery engage the general's bodyguard. All my howitzers engage the colonial militia. So let's try and chase after some of the enemy here. You can actually all fire anyway. Advance, advance, advance. I think my light cavalry, yeah, my cavalry are winning that engagement. The musketeers will deal with the general. You can get some boys off. There we go. Shattered them. General's bodyguards getting gunned down in the front with the last of the artillery crews. is probably gonna make it get my general involved come on kill the infantry I think I have to get my general involved. Shattered, excellent. Get my general up here. Okay, we need to maintain our integrity of the line. Because you're going to have to break off from your attack to engage the West India Company infantry that have decided to come back for some reason. Push forward. engage the colonial line. There we 
We're gonna kill the 38. And now finish them off. There we go. Now we're chasing them down. Damn right, we're gonna continue. Okay. Keep on attacking. Chase after the militia because you nearly ran into all those stakes. Third Regiment of Foot Colonial Line Infantry. Well, I hope you're happy you saved that other regiment because it cost you your own. Okay, so I think we need to do what we did again. See, there is no... I think it's only when this guy leaves the action now. I mean, the militia have to be killed, but... So even though he's shown his running here, and actually we want to go after the gun to try and kill him... Yeah, that'll do. If the militia have gone, that'll be a GG! Yeah, we're going to likely want to keep a army up here. It feels like Ready, usually when the AI gets an idea in their head, they just keep going with it. So you're going to replenish and then get sent over to the European theatre. You're replenishing. Right, okay. Let's build the next government building in the Black Hills and then the next farm. Well, at least they still kind of like us. Minus one. Should be fine. Yes. Okay, I think... We are reaching a point where we now we need to start moving against Mexico. And the French. So you, Nathaniel Green. You can take your militia, get rid of them. And the next turn you can start to get some actual true infantry. At the ready. Yes, you're waiting for your last handful yes, of guys. Sir. Okay, so you've got three armies up here. I'm gonna send two to attack Britain, and then I'm gonna send these three over to India to attack Ceylon and then hit land in Calcutta. I think that's gonna be my objective. Uh, Dutch Guyana for New Mexico and Panama. Nope. In theory, not a terrible option because it's it creates a ooh opportunity. Not with these fellows, I'm not intercepting. With these fellows, yes. The last strength they've got on the island is now being pushed to attack us. I don't think it's going to work. And ultimately, we may end up having to attack them because of their artillery. I mean, historically, I, my understanding of counter battery in the, the Napoleonic era is chiefly to do with the idea that you only target their artillery if their artillery starts doing more damage to your infantry than you're doing to theirs. melee infantry are going to have to get involved this time and we're going to make sure we are spitting out quickline right off the bat just focus on their their foot artillery for now Although they do have a slight amount of cover. I managed to get the yeomanry to want to suicide charge us. Okay, I think we are going to have to advance. Right. 
withdraw you guys. You've got your first quick loan targets. So the objective will be to push them away. Yeah, you just keep these guys busy. I'm not expecting you to fight against them. target quick lounging more in the center Seconds. Let's push back the seventy fifth. It's start to see you get upset. can uh, get around you like this could work artillery fire attack the smaller unit got a native war auxiliary in get my cuirassier moving cuirassier can just go up for the go towards the artillery right now Units of cavalry versus a bunch of native warrior auxiliary. But you might have to run back to the main force. Focus on the 75th. Horse thinks they're winning, but they're doing they're losing enough men quickly enough. But I don't know if that will stand. Got a union of light cavalry to engage the 24th. Okay, you guys can now be directed to fight over against these fellows on the left. Redirect our artillery. Garcia, go for the general. They're going to suicide into my squares again, so that's fine. Good. 
general's been caught. Form square again, because as soon as I got out of the 10th, we're like, no, we want some of that. I think it's just the hill that's preventing... Preventing this engagement from getting on, from going too badly. Everyone's going to get away. Nope, we got him. Excellent. You take up position, reload, blast, and shot straight into the flank of the 82nd. General's done. Go on, General. Go get him. Put artillery. Peace fire. Oh, it's a ceasefire. Yeah, I think that's going to be the end of them. Get my native auxiliaries to chase them down. Curacier ahead of them to engage the 77th. So it is these Dragoons that are left, plus this unit of horse artillery at the top. You can get the horse artillery, that would be super. How's my general doing? He's chipping away the 65th. Oh, they're, they're too fast. Oh no, we're gonna get them all right. No, we aren't. They're too fast. Speedy. Accuracy air. So it's more important now that we make sure we chase down the British because we are fighting with limited capacity. Come on, it's the 78th. Excellent. Yes, and they ran too. Nice. Very, very nice. So the British strength on Sardinia is... It's been shattered. Do you want to intercept? No. The water with them. <laughs> They're going to just run into the main force. I need to do some amount, some amount of um, combining. Although, to be fair, I think in my Grand Columbia campaign, I'm about to invade India. So I think in the American, this American campaign, I'm, I actually want to go all in on invading Europe to keep it a bit different. To not try and do the same thing in every campaign. So maybe we will sail in and take Stockholm and use that as a base of operations. Although I think we are definitely going <laughs> to still end up um, invading Britain and then jumping into, um, jumping into France and Spain. You've still got some consolidation that needs to be done in the Americas. Missionary in Tunis. That's ideal, actually. So then you... You've already got a church school. You've got one. Algiers has one. Morocco does not. So go over to Morocco. So in terms of line infantry, we can combine some together. You're line infantry and you are line infantry. Why are you not combining? Weird. Your 
humble servant. Bring up a unit of African oh. native infantry. You can push up towards the city, but stay um, stay replenishing. Well, actually, you just put them under. Although, to, to be honest, we've effectively beaten these armies already. Just take them out. Glorious victory. So let's get rid of the military governor's barracks. Your humble servant. You can replenish, upgrade the port. Well, upgrade the mine, destroy the port, upgrade the roads. Cool. So we've got shortened carbines, which allegedly gets us those um, cavalry units. Then we're on to machined rifling. We've got interchangeable parts. Then we're going for seed planting drill. So let's see if we can recruit those cavalry units. Fourth Continental, Lee's Legion, and it's the second Philadelphia that we don't have. Which you would think would be recruitable in Philadelphia. Oh well. To you, good sir. Actually, you're already your your army's already done. Okay, this army can get Lee's Legion, a unit of Repub Republican Guard, a unit of U.S. Marines, Provincial Scouts, Rangers. So you are spoils of war. Excellent. Lots of good upgrades here. Upgrade the port. Factory master. Drill master. Yep, Sardinia is taken. Down here in the south. You can request a unit of marine, uh, marines, then U.S. Marines, Colonial Line Infantry, plus Guerrilla Mercenaries, plus a unit, uh, plus the fourth Continental. Actually, you can get three of them. Interesting. Let's get just the one. I think a more realistic target for these fellows is to attack Plains Nation, uh, or to attack Texas. Then we jump on France, you'll do that, and then this army can move up and take. Once this France has been dealt with, one can move south into Mexico, one will move west into Santa Fe. So we're allied with Spain, so we can't jump into Spain. But we aren't allied with Portugal, so we could go for them. Although, to be fair, we are at war with Austria. So I think that's probably our, our best bet. Upgrade the Ordnance Board. Foot Artillery. A Union of Republican Guard. I can recruit seven units. Got our Light Infantry. It's going to look something like that, I think. Keep the economy upgrades coming. We want to make sure we can fund all this stuff we're buying. Okay, that's pretty good. So up here in the Americas... You're still replenishing. We're not even fully. You're definitely not fully replenished. Yes, sir. You come after the remaining remainders, Huzzah! the remaining troops of Huzzah! Luke Churchill's army. Yes, sir. Immediately. Destroy them. Sir. You can head back to Your Newfoundland. Is. 
So when this army is rebuilt, we're going to ship them to Iceland. Make ready. Yes, Edgar Bevins is a superior general. There's a gold mine that hasn't been upgraded. Okay, let's do a bit of an industry check. I don't need a pleasure. Gardens. Mine. Awesome. So then around the world in general. No spaces. Austria's still there. You're a bit... Haggard. Aye, sir. Okay, till and ten. Gather. Undercover. Farmers for New Mexico and twenty-two grand. Yeah, yeah, not terrible. I must admit, at some point I was suspicious that uh, Spain were going to declare war on me. But so they demand French Guyana. They're going to offer me 20 turns of military access, three technologies, plus 14 grand. Again, not terrible. But no. Not terrible at all. I think we are just gonna we're gonna do an amphibious invasion and attack Amsterdam and Paris. Well, once we will obviously once we've secured the British Isles, we're gonna hit Amsterdam and Paris in one fell swoop. Then commit to total war in that region. Keep pumping out, well, pump out more troops to spread across Europe. Construction report. A new town emerges. To kiss the mission in Florida. Good. Don't need walls in Jamaica. Okay, everything else is maxed out. Okay. I mean, if I wanted to make things difficult for myself, I could just break the alliance with France and kill, <laughs> take out France. But then that makes everyone else really unhappy with me. But I'm at, I think I'm at a stage where I don't really mind. They can do that if they like. So, here. Ready for orders. Kill the rest of these chaps. Setting up camp. Make ready. Immediately. Okay, this army's at full strength. Troops forward. Get over here. Ready and waiting. Recruit two sloops. You're still replenishing. One unit of regiment of horse. That's okay for now. Lots more recruitment being done. Orders, make ready. You need two more ships, so let's get. You got a couple of thirds. Okay, you're, you need a couple of heavies. And let's bring Ross Butler out. Come about. Three, three, something like that. 10,000 left. Chill the line. Heave away, boys. Heave away. Elias Friedman. 
Actually, I could probably buy a couple of third rates for the space of one heavy first. Okay, let's disperse some light galleys, although actually I can't. Can we get into there? We can. We can just get into their trade port servicing their... Oh no, we can't get through here. Rat. Um, okay. So we've got one army on our way to attack Europe. Let's send this fleet up to provide a bit of support. To check out what's there. Raid some dockyards. We critically don't want to stay in here in case they send troops out to try and kick us out. Two armies. Again, lots, mostly chaff. Okay, in which case then? Because they've got two armies of chaff, let's send... Let's give some uh, support to the army that I've sent across. So then you're going to be ready to defend Newfoundland. Actually, to that end, you don't need two sloops. Okay, Leslie Hook is up to full strength. In which case, you can go to Madagascar to free up Austria of their trading responsibilities. Aye, sir. Fleet ready. Okay, let's get an admiral into a fifth rate here. Can't recruit any more trade ships. But we have a number of trade fleets, although I think I want to switch. There we go, so they're a bit more equal. You still need a couple more ships. Let's hit N10. My religious ages are still on the move. My armies to invade England are growing in strength. Ah, you can't take all of your... You can only take two. Fine. Nope. Eventually Mexico will get fed up of me denying all of their requests. Ooh, where are you taking your army? I mean, it looks like it's going over to Europe. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Royal Navy... The Brits are just going to keep pumping troops out of India, so I may be forced to invade it regardless. Austria's taking Turin. No deals. Guess the Ottomans are doing Ottoman things. Portugal were chasing after the Mexican Navy. They tried to invade <laughs> they tried to invade Europe and got turned away at the first instance. Bad luck for them. That will not happen to us, no sir. Yeah, we have to knock out Well if we keep Britain alive at Stockholm, we'll be able to conquer a lot of Europe be able to generate enough European armies to deal with the theatre and then in, in America we can generate troops to look at invading India because again we are going to want to we're going to want to invade them sooner or later and the longer we leave them the more they will just start to send random little attack fleets against us so yeah like in Grand Columbia my Grand Columbia campaign you either need to invade India to give them something else to focus on or you need to build such a huge navy and just lock down their entire coast so they have no way of sending those armies to you. Order. OK, 
Okay, you go over here. You're now ready. Renier, let's get some Aranade frigates for his trade fleet. Ooh, just the one fleet's arrived. Land over the dockyard. Push towards them. See if they send if they send an army towards us, we can intercept them. We can intercept them and then destroy them. That's the objective. If you push in and attack them, the odds are too much not in our favour. Thunder upgrade. Can't upgrade you anyway. You're just waiting, waiting for your opportunity to invade. At the ready. Recruitment ongoing. March. Ready for orders. Sir. Your orders. Okay, I think. Forward. Any further orders? Ready March. and awaiting orders. So you've got yours. Make ready. You've ready got yours. You've got yours. Yes. Pick up a gen an out a general here. They'll be they'll be able to Sir do something next time. I think we are in a position though where we want to start getting our men embarked. Forward. Yes. Make ready. Okay, let's get There we go. Sir. I'm about you're all set up. So there's two armies on the way to England. Got some replacement sloops. I'm sure we won't get invaded. In that, in the one turn, it's going to be vulnerable. Get the light galley into Nice. If you go. Actually, that's too much. That's too much for you. Send this fleet. That's more. You're more than. Well, I mean, it's a single damaged fifth rate. I'd, I'd be crazy to even utter the words. That should be enough. And one of our other galleys blockade their home port. And then let's garrison Zadar, even though it's currently. Not. Nothing's currently been built there. And while that's going on, you can call up some reinforcements. Yeah, that's been done. So we've yes, yeah, so we've landed here. The objective is to give them a turn to advance towards us and engage us, rather than pushing forward. Send my other sloop into my other fleet into Hoffen. Uh, they traded Santa Fe to the Ottomans. What did they get? Nothing, seemingly. Probably some technologies. Bit of a bummer because they weren't on our list of people to attack. For a while. Uh, the Pueblo Nations, they're a protector of Portugal. That's fine, we'll invade Portugal at the same time in that case. A couple of good armies here. Forty-seven thousand. Let's make sure we're getting the most out of that. She's recruiting a full fleet involving ships down here or fully booked up. What about up here? It's gonna get a run of heavy. F uh, no, I, I like my admirals to be in first rates because then my my heavy first rates go first. Um, <laughs> then the firsts come up, of which one of them is my admiral. And I, th I guess I'm just gonna go. Orders. 
keep recruiting. Okay, we run out of Legion. US Marine, Continental Marine. And let's get a unit of Lee's Legion. Make ready. And you You've got your elite, you've got skirmishers, you've got a unit of well you got the fourth continental light dragoons. These guys got some of Lee's Legion. It's got a QSCA unit and a regiment of horse. No, don't want minute men. Can I not recruit? Oh, I think I've, or I've already used up all my American infantry mercenaries. Yes, sir. Yep, they're all. They have been consumed. Uh, I can only recruit nine units. There we go. So you're going to be fully, fully ready for battle. And then you will also be ready soon. Machine rifling will get us you know, sharpshooters. You got more skirmishes coming up later. Yeah, I'm not so bothered about. Well, once you get to a certain number of key technologies, you've kind of you've reached a point where you just don't mind whatever whatever technology that comes through next. You could you can optimize it, obviously. You can take a much more um, involved much more involved role in your technology plan. But once as soon as I've got quick climb, fire by rank, oh Britain sending another fleet on the way. Opportunity to intercept, absolutely we're gonna jump on that. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the first engagements on Iceland. Cheers, everyone.